Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Cold Spring, New York, with a frauditor that goes by the name of Leroy Truth Investigation. Yes, this guy used to hang around Josh Abrams, you know, that asshat who nobody seems to like anyway, and he thinks he's some sort of lawyer, but you know what, I haven't seen any proof to back that up as of yet, but at any rate, he tries to enter the courthouse with uh, his uh, video equipment, and of course you know how that goes, no recording in a courthouse whatsoever because of attorney-client privilege information and everything like that, but he gets kicked out. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Look at what they're trying to do that. here. You cannot you have that take a weapon away. This is not this a is not a weapon. weapon away. This, yes. this is not a weapon. It can be look at what they're doing. Weapon. I'm in court here. And look what they're doing. They're escalate, they escalated again. And you went hands-on again with me. You went hands-on again with me. You need to calm down. You escalated it. You and you escalated this. No, I told you. Calm down. I'm you, having a conversation. You both escalated this. I'm having a conversation with you. You're not going back to court. You can have that in my face all you want. That is not going in the courtroom. Your camera can... This comes with me. You see what this says here? You see what this says here? I'm not recording in the court. You need to step back. You need to I'm not back. Don't, don't need to touch step me. Back, step back. Don't touch me. Look, don't look at who's there. Now, Marino, put that back Barkley, car. Barkley, the guy so who attempts to murder people. Back. This take guy who back. hired Kenneth Baker. Take, take a step back. back. Please step back. He went hands-on again. Sir. So all this is over the fact that you didn't want to leave your tripod out in the car? Uh, Yeah, dude, I can understand where they're coming from. I mean... I don't care what you think. What the, a tripod can be used as a weapon in the right circumstances. I mean, are you that brain dead? Uh, I would suppose you are because you turned into a frauditor. So therefore, uh, yeah, you instantly lose so many IQ points for doing that. Go back and step car. back. If you don't take a step back, I'm going to have to go hands on because I'm asking you to please take a step Why? back. Why? Because I want you to see this on the wall. I want you to see this, and I want you to record that with your phone, like you record. No, you're not going to tell me what right to here. do. Right here, it you're says, not going to. No filming past this point. Right. Here, I, look, so, uh, look, here I am. Again, look, look where I am. Right here. Again, again. What look, you're doing look where I am. is you, you, you escalated this. You escalated. I have a right to bring this with no, me. You always ask for an honest conversation. I'm having one with you. You refuse to. You've film never this been here. honest with you me. Ask, you, I asked you to film this here. It says no filming, and you will not do it. Because why? Because you're going to go and cut that up. No. In your in your house, and you're going to put all sorts of different things that we. I am not being honest. I am not filming past this point, but you, you went hands-on with me. You cannot take something you in that can be used as a weapon in a court. You are so, Period you are such a story. coward. Each of you are such cowards. You cannot have that poll with you. You are such cowards. This you is are the poster child. child. Walk in. You are the poster child for untreated mental illness. <laughs> Truer words were never spoken, and you know what? I think many frauditors have a condition called borderline personality disorder, where uh, somebody can lose their temper at the drop of a hat over nothing, really. I mean, I'll say the majority of them may have that, but not all of them, because, you know, some of them do it just for the shits and giggles of it. Now you can take this that is out, coming. This is literally coming from Freud's you can put that first in your experiment, and or in someone who has the Oedipus complex and loves his the money. Court. Period. End of story. There is no law that says I can't bring this. This is you are claiming it's a weapon because you're afraid. It is not a weapon. He said it was a weapon. Used as a weapon. It is not. Are you that afraid? You've got guns. And and and, and, and so forth. This is not a weapon. This is it's a, a tripod. Protocol. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Protocol. You can take your. You can take your. There is no. There is no law. Or you're not entering the court. That's all there is. There is to no it. law. I'm, I'm surprised I'm you can put even a few it. words together clear in a sentence. It. This is a tripod. I have a right to bring this with no, me. No, you do not. You have no Are right. You entering court. You have yes no not. right to that's say it. that's a weapon or not. This and is a yeah. tripod. What the hell does the edifice complex have to do with this scenario right here, dude? Because none of them are showing any signs of being overly attached to their mothers. I mean, come on now, dude. They're just being 
a little bit more cautious than you about what constitutes a weapon. And speaking of the edifice complex, if you really want to see what an ed edifice complex looks like, uh, read The Tragedy of Coriolanus uh, by uh, William Shakespeare. Now, that dude had an edifice complex. Okay. They are afraid of this. Ladies and gentlemen, these cops are afraid. They are afraid of a tripod. Look, they are afraid of a tripod. Do not say it was a weapon. You can possibly use that as a weapon. That's what we're stating. So it is a tripod. In, either you walk in and deal with your courtroom and, then, and, and with your summons, that is not going into the courtroom. This okay. is a tripod. I have a right to bring this with me. Show me the law or the statute that says I can't bring this in here. Show me the law or the statute says that I can't. I don't need a law that says that I can bring a personal item with me into a courtroom. No. Oh, there are personal items. You can put any anything personal item in that you want. Like, anything you want to bring. Period. End of story. What a coward. Look at this coward. This is the guy who went hands on illegally is, when I was in the village courtroom. You can use your words all yes. you want about cowards. And you can yeah, try to it's called, you can try it's to called truth. Things. Oh, yeah. Truth. Yeah, I don't think it's all about the truth because you really haven't spoken that much about the truth since you got here. I mean, you can't even define the edifice complex properly. You can't even show it. I give truth. I give truth to all of you. You're all acting like cowards because they are afraid of a tripod. They are afraid of a tripod. Step back for a minute. Hey, pork rind, step back. Again, they're afraid there, of this. There you go with the word. With the words again. That's really intense. It's called First Amendment. No, it's called being he went hands on me. Robert Barkley, the person who attempted to him when he was the NYPD officer. He, to do what we're talking oh, about I'm going to FOIA request. Look at this guy. He's got a nothing, personal phone. That has nothing. Do not what we're delete that. I'm going to FOIA request that. That is nothing. What we're I'm doing with today. I'm dealing phone. with you right you, now. He went I'm hands on. I'm dealing with you right now, one on one. I want to so go to the court and go to the judge. Stop being a coward, okay? Lower your voice. De-escalate. No, I'll de-escalate. Fine, I de-escalate it. Okay. So now we can talk. He went hands on to start this whole thing. Not bringing that into yeah. the courtroom. This is not allowed to bring hide behind your phone. So. This is not hiding behind a phone. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have here a Josh Abrams clone. He has learned the frauding craft from that pile of crap, and now he is surpassing him in so many ways. The student has become the master, and soon the. Student will probably destroy the master in ratings. But you know what? We'll, we shall see about that. Right. Oh, that's very nice. You're Th so this is called reporting the so truth. I want you to put this on your videos. You're so intelligent that you got to go with Paul Crime on a police it's officer. It's called the First Amendment. On a police officer who goes out there and he protects the public with his own life. Oh, he harasses, he harasses the public. No, no you harass the public with that, with that You part. took me out That's illegally from the judge's courtroom no, when I was here I, ready I right. to go in front of the judge. I had a right to do that. For what? I had a right you tell to me. Do that. And I already told you why. No, I want you to tell me. Was there a disturbance inside the court? I told you Was there a disturbance inside the court that I, I did? I told you already. I'm not going to repeat no. myself. You need to repeat it because myself. I was out here, here and I was sitting there honestly and, and respectfully. No. Look, look at how condescending this piece of crap is. Oh, now I'm a piece of crap. Okay, it's fine. Good. I hope that can make your video. Look, you don't cut, look, at, look at this. Don't cut that look at this okay. guy. Do you, ladies and gentlemen, do you know why he's here without it? Or are you going to... Do you know, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to put this on too. Do you know why you're here? For a summons. Well, no shit. A one summons for an illegal use of a cell phone, and you're going through a all A retaliatory stuff, ticket. He is a liar. Then you deal with That's what I came in before then Robert Barkley went hands-on with me. You are continuing to escalate. He went hands-on with me. He started all this, and then you picked up on it. Here's your choice. You go in and talk to the judge without your tripod, or you leave. There, there, there is nothing that says I can't bring my tripod I'm with me. I'm telling you as a professional police officer, that can be, can be used as a weapon. It's not going to be what a coward. And, and see how they like to put anything as a weapon. You can call me whatever you want. Are you done? You're going to deal with the judge. You're either answering or not. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. I want to bring my personal item not happy. with me. No, not happy. You can lock it up in your car and you can come in to see the judge. Other than that, it's not going to be Can you believe these, these so-called cops, they are afraid of a tripod. This. The carbon fiber tripod That's correct. weighs about eight, now, eight ounces. You can, you can either exit or you can enter the courtroom without it. What choice do you make? And also that you're still protecting Baker. 
and what? I got a retaliatory Sir, ticket has nothing, that has everything to do with it. Are you entering it. the courtroom or not? I, you I am. I, I'm so going to talk to your idiot. Your car, you, you have less brain car. cells than my toenail you are jam. You untreated mental you illness. Guilt. That's what you are. No, that's called a cop. A police officer actually is a person are, who has untreated, you are mental, untreated illness. mental illness. Every, you're almost every police child. officer has you are mental illness. You're a child. You're a sociopath. And I have your record in the settlement that you almost murdered a man. You talk about mental illness? I didn't beat Good the luck. shit out of an innocent man. Good luck. And you beat the shit out of an innocent man. And, oh, and almost. You, you it's it's online. It is online. No, 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 not at all. It is in the court settlement document. Uh, you're accusing them of having a mental illness. Uh, you're the one who's standing here arguing with them about uh, the tripod. I mean, clearly you don't know what can be used as an improvised weapon in a pinch i mean people been uh taken out with a lot less than that larry truth take your telescoping magnet whatever that thing and, is and look put it in your this car low iq or leave piece of smegma he called me larry truth can't even get my name larry right. the liar that's what i call it. well we can call you larry that's all Mexican the truth or leon the truth or whichever you go by with all your pseudonyms oh. and you've definitely five i, I want to come with my personal it's effect not, into not here. going in there it's not we're going not in there you room room can room stand here and go all night long it's well. not going to happen you go in and deal with your summons, which this is all over. I want to deal it right. With a summons. I want to deal it right. A retaliatory Ladies summons. Is summons. It is it's called. Here. Here. Summons. We're not even it's here. Now, do, you see, do you see these people? Here for a summons. It is here for, for a retaliatory summons. Untreated. It's not a retaliatory words. summons. You got a summons for being on a cell phone in your car. So now I want you to deal with that instead of bringing up all this stuff that you've been bringing up since March. See how the blue line gang, see how thick the blue line gang is? See how thick the blue line gang is? Let me impart a little truth to you, dumbass. You call these guys uh, gang members or whatever, but in reality, uh, what would happen if you needed them the most and somebody was coming out? after you what would you do given the choice between uh let's say uh your life expiring or calling the officers because you need help with somebody who's about to extinguish your light uh, if you get my drift what would you do you don't care about the truth. You know, Larry, you know, you know. I want to go in front of him right now. I want to go in front of the judge right now. With, with, with my personal effects. Not at all. So you're going to go into the courtroom and deal with the judge. Because you, you call us a coward? Go deal with the judge. You're a coward. Deal with your summons. Excuse me. I was here and you illegally removed me from the courtroom last time and lied about it. Did I? Did I? Was I making a disturbance in court? I did it by law. So... By law, and tell me the law. I did it by law. What, what did you, you remove me from the legal court courtroom? Shut up. No, Shut up, asshole. Tell me you're a coward. Shut up, asshole. You're a coward. I am here. You're a coward. I, I, listen to this. This this guy is calling me a coward. I'm standing in front of four Excuse cops me. with Excuse guns, me. and they're calling me a coward. Untreated. Watch where your fingers are. You're in my you, personal space. Watch me. You're the one that came up to me here. I'm standing here. I haven't moved. I have not moved. Back up and get out of my personal space. Well, that's where the video ends right there, everybody. But I have a suspicion that, well, he ended up relenting and taking his stuff back to his car. Because if he had actually won this whole thing, he would be gloating about it. And, uh, well, there's no video to show that happened. So my interpretation is that he eventually gave up. He had the content he needed, and he relented and then went about his day. He did all this just for the clicks and views, and it only makes him look like a complete ignoramus. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?